Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to my Heavenly Father. Holy, holy, holy God Almighty. Worthy to be praised. Hmm. God, we just thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your strength. Thank you for your mercy, your grace, your faithfulness. God, we thank you, dear God, for the gift that you had given us to God. As we celebrate you um, in this season, this holiday season. And God, we just thank you, dear God, that you give us a heart of love and a heart of giving, a kind heart through the... The, situ the things that we deal with in our lives, it could be financially, uh, spiritually, emotionally, all the things that could be, um, uh, can be a hindrance to God. We just thank you to God and any distraction to God. We just come against that in the name of Jesus. We thank you to God that your spirit, um, it reigns in our lives. And we thank you to God that... You are just, you're holy, you're peace, you're pure, you are peace, you are our savior. We just thank you to God that your love um, continues to spread throughout the earth. In Jesus' name, and I ask you to God as I um, give these encouragement words um, that I be led um, by your spirit, by your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, lead and guide me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome guy. He reigns from heaven above. We wisdom. Power and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom. Power and love, our God is an awesome God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thought I should give y'all a praise and worship song. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank. I'm just grateful. I'm grateful at the. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I had the moment. Don't. Now, there. Sometimes I have my little my moody. I can get a little moody in there. I'm like, Lord, bring me back in. That be that flesh. That 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 flesh tries to give me. You know, we want you to be trying to give me the complain. But you know, I I still speak the word. I'm like, Nah, God, it's not you. It's not you. Glory to God. Um, I like this. Um, I was just reading this um, earlier. And it said, learning to personally give myself over to God. You know, sometimes in, you know, in our life, you know, you, this is a season of, I mean, you know, Every day we should live, we should give ourselves over to God, give ourselves over to God. Like, and I'm just like the last message to be the greatest love of your, of your soul. And how we do that, we do that by um, loving God, you know, allowing God to um, come into our lives and pour into us. This is how we continually be the greatest love of our soul because God teaches us how to love ourselves. And that's why it's important to stay connected to God. And He is the power. He is He is power. He created power. He is power. He is the power source. And we have to stay connected to Him. And sometimes we get in those, you know, get in those moments. We're like, well, God, how can I connect, you know, 
you know, how can I connect with you? How can I continue to have the intimacy? We continue to praise God. We continue to praise Him. Continue to lift Him up in our hearts and our mind. And um, and we don't let the flesh, the situations, um, the pleasures of life control um, our um, desire for God, our connection to Him. We don't want to. We don't want to allow that. Even in this season of of um, celebrating um, Jesus being, you know, Jesus being born. You know, to me, it's not all about the, you know, the big Santa Claus and, you know, the elves and all that stuff. So it's about Jesus, you know. And I know the world has made it, you know, appear that, you know, the illusion of that it's, it's, it's Santa Claus and the elves. And we like, but, the you know, the believers know that it's not about that. It's about what what has been gifted to us is his son god's son has been gifted to us so that we may live and not die spiritually mentally our body our soul you know even though our body might go to dust but i that our spirit will be and our soul will be you know it will be saved um learning to personally we learn to we have to learn learn learning to personally give ourselves over to God, becoming an open and cleansed vessel. Um, should be our turning point and in our life, you know, in our in our in our uh, covenant and our marriage to God. You know, he was like, well, how can you be married to God? Because he said that he he comes. He's looking for his brides. He he desire his brides, and and I said in the other message, I said a, a man can be God's bride as well because he does not look at gender. God is the one that does not look. Now, though we look at gender, we know that this is a male and this is a female, but God he doesn't look at gender. And so you can be, we can be in in a covenant with God. We can be in a marriage covenant with God because he because he's coming looking for his church, and. We have to remember to stay connected and continue to be in that covenant with him and not allowing the distractions of the world to pull us away. The illusion of of different things like, oh, you know, to to kind of distract us for what the what the, what the, what is the main reason and why we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Christmas because, you know, the we believers believe that Jesus <laughs> you know was what came to the world you know to save us and and i think that's something that we have to teach our children we gotta teach our children that it's not about the big santa claus and the elves and all the gifts and things like that but we have to teach them that that this is that, that this is a, a god that has been sent to this to the to the earth to redeem us from the sins that we commit and sometimes the sins that even believers commit every day. But he came to redeem us from that and to say that, you know, we are forgiven, but we have to stay connected. We don't want to be the people that say, Lord, 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 I knew you. And the Lord's like, I did not know you. You didn't you didn't have intimate with me. You wasn't connected with me. You didn't talk to me. You allow the world to pull you away from me and so just like it just like in a relationship you you cannot know someone that does not talk to you cannot know someone that doesn't spend time with you and so we as believers we say that we believe in jesus christ and the reason why we celebrate this holiday is we we love on god we love on him and we are grateful and thankful for what he has what what he that he has sent his only begotten son to save us to redeem us back to him and this is something that we have to teach our children we have to teach our children and i remember you know and this is something that we do we know the easter and the easter they got the easter bunny you know they got different things you know celebrating everything except what why we truly celebrate those the believers why we truly celebrate we celebrate him because of because of his son sent here to redeem us from the curse from from the bondage of uh from you know from from sin from you know 
when I say we sin, when I say from sin, but to be guilty of that, you know. Now, we don't want to be the type of people just like, oh, I'm a sin and Jesus is going to forgive me. No, we don't want to be that because when you truly love God, God said, when you love me, you follow my commandments. When you love God, you follow his commandments. When you love someone, if somebody say, hey, I, you know, you know they love you. And they say, I love you. I love you. But don't do that. That hurts me. Your, your spouse or whatever and say, I love you. Don't do that. That hurts me. They communicate to you and they say those things. You're going to be like, you're going to think about it. You're going to think about it. It's like, well, well, you know, my husband, my wife say don't do that because it hurts me. Just um, just think about that. Or, or my friend said don't do that because it hurts me. Or my sister said don't do that. My brother said don't do that because it hurts me. Any type of relationship, someone to communicate to you and they say don't do that, 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 that hurts me. That's not showing me love. Then you do it. And and so you know, like I told you last month, I'm ripping God. I'm rip. I'm ripping my God. I'm ripping my Savior. And so there's things in our life that we do, and God, and God's like that hurts me. He said because I love you. Don't be so distracted about the things of the world and how the world gives us certain illusions about certain things. Like this is what we're supposed to celebrate. We're supposed to celebrate Him. He wants the glory. He wants the glory. That's why we created. We we supposed to be his vessels that he wants to pour into so that we can be the light. And so that we can help those so that we can be the one to say no, you know, you're not going to be bondage to uh poverty. You're not going to be in bondage to uh emotional abuse, physical abuse. You're not going to be in bondage to um those things that 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 harms you you know yeah we go through trials and tribulations that you know to that will strengthen us and guys allow those things because he know what we can take it he was not going to put so much on us that we cannot that we cannot even bear he comes right even in those moments when you feel like you just can't do it God comes right every time. God's come right in, comes right in, and it's like, hey, this, I, I, I see he, I see he about to break down. I see she about to break down. I'm about to come in, and I'm gonna help her. So that scripture is true. He's not gonna put on. He's not gonna put. He, he's, he, he, even though we, we go through things in life, he's not. It's not gonna be the point that God's not gonna allow it to break down when you truly trusting in Him, when you walking in faith, when you walking in faith and loving God. And desiring to love him, following his commandments. Becoming an open and cleansed vessel. An open and cleansed vessel. And you know, sometimes as a believer, you we sometimes we kind of struggle with, you know, God, what 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 is cleansing? What is cleansing my vessel? What is what what is it that I how can I cleanse my vessel? First of all, it starts with connecting, communicating with God, having an intimacy with God, and allow Him to wash, wash you and pour into you all the things that are toxic in your life, the things that are negative, the the, the traumas, all those different things that God just want to just, just, He just want to get it out of you. But we first have to understand that we have to acknowledge Him in our lives. We have to acknowledge God in our lives. We have to. It's a must every day. Let's not give so much attention to the Santa Claus, the the elves, the the gifts, and all this thing. Let's give a lot of attention to what Jesus was sent here to do: is to redeem us. So that he so that we might have a connection with God, so we can walk in our power that He has given us, so that we can fulfill the purpose that He has for in our life, has for us in our lives. We have to be willing uh, for God um, to show us, you know, show us um, to God to show me all that He needed. We want we want God to show us all that He needs us to do. You know, He it's this the things He wants to accomplish 
in our lives and we need to connect with him so that he can show us all those things that he wants us to accomplish for him because remember he wants the glory we give the glory to God you know holy night you know we 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 we, we you know we say we get sometimes and I know a lot of parents and I've been you know sometimes some situation with parents they say oh I ain't got money I don't have I don't have money for buying my children gifts and and things like that, you you, you tell them about the, the the gift that was given to them because they're gonna need it in their lives. They're gonna need that. They're gonna need them. They're gonna need you to talk about Jesus. They're gonna need you to tell them what He has done for 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 you and for for them. That's the gift. Yeah, we get to get on some gifts too, but you know, but don't be so hard on yourself that you can give your children, you know, certain gifts and different gifts, gifts that they ask and this like those things, you know, spoiling them kids, you know, just 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 tell them about Jesus, you know, and don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself that you can give your children the gift that you that they ask for. Well, they see other kids have, but you tell them about the, the, the you sit down, have a moment with them, and that's open, crack, open, open up that Bible and tell them about what Jesus did. And that's a gift. That's a gift to remember. That's an everlasting gift. Now, I'm, it's not cliche neither. All that other stuff, y'all, yeah, all that other stuff, the Santa Claus and the. In the uh, and all that, in the, 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 the reindeers and the slaves, <laughs> that's you know, come on, now, y'all. But this message, this, that's not a cliche. This is G talk about the Lord, talk about Jesus, talk about what God has done for us to redeem us back to Him. That's not cliche, it's not no fake, it's the real thing. He loves you. All right, um, okay. We got to understand God, God, he knows better. He knows all things. He's an all-knowing God. He's an all-knowing God. Let's continue to seek him and have their intimacy, their relationship with him. Remember, this is the holiday to remember why we celebrate. And we celebrate our Savior. We celebrate God's son being sent to He was born. He was born. And unto us, so that we can, that we might be redeemed back to Him, back to God, our Father, our Heavenly Father. Oh yes, and it was a holy night. So let's continue to, um, let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. You know, if you don't have the money for this and that and that and then all the other things that the enemy is probably trying to suppress oppress depressed you just hey rejoice rejoice and it's gonna work out rejoice anyway you know rejoice re re rejoice in the whatever or whatever the situation is rejoice and and as i encourage you i'm encouraging myself you know so let us rejoice and remember what why we celebrate um this Christmas Day um, is you know and I know <laughs> right alright so I don't think I'm then my cell phone is not gonna allow me to um, talk for you talk to you guys long now maybe they'll need to put that in the video but that's all right um my name is Akili and I am my authentic self when it comes to my heart and who I love and that is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I love you all God bless you and have a merry merry Christmas holy kisses <laughs>